All right, guys. We're going to do something a little bit different today. We've acquired a large turtle. Uh, hadn't done much with a turtle. But we fixing to go through this process of cleaning this turtle. We're going to hack him up. What we're goal is, is a man that brought it to me wants the shell preserved. But we're going to take a look at the meat. This is a very large turtle. Uh, being the size of it, I don't know about the quality of the meat. I don't know that much about turtles. But anyway, we got back here behind our shed where I, this is my old cleaning station where I used to clean everything. Now we have a new place over on our property where we have a cleaning shack. But I'm just going to get out here because I'm going to try to do all of this right here. and uh, So I had to clean this up, so forgive me for the back of the shed being nasty and all that stuff. My pressure washer quit, and I hadn't been able to pressure wash the back of this building. It's on the north side, so this green moss. And I did wash the sink out good and wash the table off. Now it's rusted up, so it looks bad, but it's pretty well clean. Oh, uh, But this is a large turtle. Now I've already cut his head off, so... This may be a little graphic to some of you. I don't know. If you don't want to watch it, you need to cut the camera off. But we're going we're gonna to haul this thing out, clean the shell up. And I don't know how much of it we're going to get on video. We may video bits and pieces of it. We may video the whole thing. Depends on how long it takes. Uh, being this is a pretty big turtle. Now, they already attempted to try to cut the, whole, the shell loose and uh, give up pretty quick. So we're going we're gonna to get it done, though. And, uh, like I said, I'm going to show you right quick. This is a big turtle. Uh, we've had him in this cooler most of the day. Like I said, this is a large turtle. Uh, I don't know much about turtles. I hadn't, this is new to me, too. But this turtle is longer than from my elbow to the tip of my hand by about three or four inches and if he had the head on him he would be three foot at least this is the largest turtle head we're going to try to save the skull oh but anyway i don't know much about turtles Anyway, this is what we got. Uh, I've done a bunch of research on doing this, so we're going to uh, go at it the best way we know how. Like I said, they have already attempted to cut this loose and have got the bone part cut loose, but then they didn't really know what else to do. So we're going uh, we're gonna to cut him on open. See what we can save, see if the meat's any good, whatever. Oh, uh, I've had him in this cooler all day today, so that's one of my concerns is, is the spoilage of the meat. Uh, if I could have got him as soon as he was killed, it would have been a lot better. So, uh, but anyway, we're going we're gonna to save whatever we can save, so stick with us. at our disposal here from my research and what i know about these turtles they pretty tough to clean so this is excuse me i gotta sneeze i thought i did this is a knife that i used to tote pretty regular or i wasn't wearing my other knife i've been making pottery most of the day and i didn't put my knife on but of course i got some in my pocket i keep one in each pocket Never know which hand's gonna be free when you need it. But we're gonna make sure we sharpen. And I like this little diamond sharpener. You can get them at Smoky Mountain Knife Works. Uh, I actually bought this one at a local hardware place here in town. Uh, if you local here want to know where that is, shoot me a drop me a comment. I'll let you know where I bought it. But uh, this. I like this little hatchet. Now the handles, when I found it, the handles were rusted off. It was buried in the ground. I made me two uh, sycamore wood handles put on there. And uh, it had the 
fork on the top. I cut it off and ground it down, but it's got some good weight to it. Even if I lose the handles, it being solid, I'm not going to break the handle out of this. But uh, I'm going to probably use it on here. I'm going to just rub across it a little bit there. I don't need it like a razor, but I don't need it all either. Now, this is a knife that we're going to do most of our first cuts and skinning with. This is our new knife that we just made recently with the antler handle. All right, but anyway, we do have a pair of cutters out here. If we happen to get into where we need them, being this turtle's big, I didn't know when I had some side cutters. We're going to attempt to get the sweet meat and whatnot out of the inside. So this could be messy, but stick with me. We may time lapse part of this, and we may cut the footage out. Depends on how hard it is to get to. Uh, but we're going to see about cutting this out. Now, first thing I'm going to do is cut this plate out. Now, these turtles, if you know anything about a turtle, these muscles and stuff on any reptile, just about it, but mainly a turtle, they'll move for hours. So if he gets to moving around too much, now he's dead, he's not had a head all day. I promise he's not alive. But uh, may he, you'll see him wiggling. I didn't want you to be alarmed that I'm skinning him alive. I'm not, I'm, that's not what's going on. From what I understand, that's what they call muscle memory. All right, we're going to just turn that knife up against that. And we're going to try to cut this plate right here loose the best we can. And just keeping our knife kind of angled up against that plate. And if you can't see all this, I'm sorry. I'm trying to stay out of your way. I didn't have a really better angle to put the camera on. Try to spin him and stay out of the way as much as possible. All the videos that I have seen on this type of stuff, this turtle was very small. You see, as I hold this up to me, this thing's almost as big as I am. We may say that, I don't know. <laughs> oh, probably what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and cut these feet off. I may save these claws. Now, I'm gonna split it out this way first. Now, one more thing, and I'm going to show you all this when we do some deer skinning videos, but anytime you cut in any animal, it don't really matter what this is for the most part. You don't, you see people cutting a lot of stuff, of chainsaws, hacksaws, everything else, reciprocating saws. You can take a little old pocket knife and clean just about anything if you know what you're doing. And see how I cut through that? You find those joints and you go between them. You don't actually cut a bone into two. For two reasons, you're going to dull your knife cutting bones up. But another thing, you don't want to splinter a bunch of jagged bones and they get in your food, possibly get in the meat, and you want your kids swallow one or 
even get in your bags of meat if you're trying to freeze it and poke a hole in your bag. And like, especially with me, I vacuum seal a lot of stuff. So you just try not to, uh, to cut them bones in two with anything. Just be careful right here when you're doing like I'm doing. Now, there's probably a thousand different ways to skin this. I ain't necessarily telling you this is the best method that I'm going about it right. I'm just showing you how to get it done. Oh, there's some principles and techniques that's the same no matter what you do, and they're going to be the same. But you don't want to be cutting towards your fingers no matter what you do, so... Be careful with that, like right in here where I'm pulling this meat. Uh, probably what I'm fixing to do is I'm fixing to separate right in here. And we're going to pull this leg out backwards. I'm going to cut this loose. Slide that knife right in this loose meat here. Cut that loose. got a lot of fat on him. I probably would have turned this turtle loose if it had been mine. I did not kill this turtle. Just because he's big and old and he's probably not going to be as good as a small turtle. It would be my reason and he's made it this long, I'd have probably let him go, but it was more of a trophy how big the shell was is what they wanted. And uh, this is America. That's what they they can do that. I don't have no problem with it. Uh, but just for the sake, I didn't. Before I start getting a bunch of hate for this old turtle, I didn't kill this turtle. I ain't mad at them if they did. If I was, I wouldn't have told him I'd clean it. What I'm doing, the reason I'm taking my time right here and not just going down in there, I'm trying to cut some of this fat and stuff loose that's in here and uh, not get it all in my meat. I don't really want it. All right, there's a joint right down in here. You just got to kind of find it with your knife and, and cut loose. See, I'm trimming that fat loose and you cut that tendon right there. He's through moving. I got to find it, I'm familiar with this. Alright, see I left that a skin attached. I didn't immediately cut it loose. That allows me to cut it loose from that leg that way. And I did get me a dish pan to put my meat in. I got picked at about my ice cream bucket in my squirrel video. But that's alright. I don't mind being picked at. Alright.
one thing I'm impressed with is this knife's holding the edge pretty good. Now it is getting a little duller, but from all accounts, I watched some guys sharpening knives 200 times. Look like while they were skinning a turtle. Turtle got some tough old hide on him now. Especially this big old rascal. Y'all didn't know I'd be doing some hillbilly stuff out here in the woods now. Now I'm taking my time. I'm not trying to see how fast I can clean this. Uh, not for video purposes, but for, I'm trying to make sure you, all this fat that I'm cutting it loose from the meat as I go. Uh, saves me a lot of work now cleaning it up in the long run and I do have me a bucket over here to throw my scraps and whatnot in because we're going to clean this shell we're going to clean it up good See how it's getting holding text? I just kind of follow it now. This is why you leave it connected. And I'm probably pushing it up. I'm close to the edge right here. That skin was flopping in between slides as hard as it was with the text. I'm going to go ahead and rub a little bit water over the seat just because I want to get I want to get warm. I'm going to watch this thing again a couple times, I'm sure. Let's see the best way to do it by getting this dick out. Makes me nervous when they stay awake. He's gonna turtle, you're gonna, you're gonna figure out that pretty quick. He's dead, but he's still on the weekend. I'm gonna try to cut all this stuff loose and get it out of my way. Huh, we're gonna hit us another lick right here on this. My daddy. My daddy over there shooting his gun. I had a low battery come up on my screen, so if I lose y'all, I may have to go get a extension cord and hook my phone up. I record everything right now on my phone, my camera. Bad when your iPhone's got better resolution than your camera does. He built him a six five Creedmoor on an AR and he can't he ain't happy with it. He wants it to drive tax. And he'll get it worth driving so it's over with. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and cut this back foot off. I'm 
Big old piece of meat. That's the neck. We're gonna go back and wash this all real good when we get. What I'm doing is to separate from these rib bones and just get to the center in here. I can always still cut loose to the center of this. On both sides, I can pretty well pull the rest of it out. I'm going to take a package for most folks. Right in here. Oh, Pop that joint in too right there. You see that socket come out? There's a socket right there. Pop that loose. I'm going to be back in there, he'll hop back out, spin out, he'll hop out. I'm going to play in there with the rest of them.
Gotta stay out of your way. My battery probably fixing down the phone. All right, it's the next day. My camera run out of memory on my phone. We had to go delete a bunch of stuff anyway. Phone shut off, we couldn't film anymore yesterday, but we got everything out of it. Now, I did not attempt to get this sweet meat under here. Yeah, there's a good bit of meat under there, but I had more meat than I knew what to do with anyway. And it's a pretty good job to get that out. But we got everything we wanted, got him cleaned up. But I just wanted to make a conclusion for this video. I didn't want to leave you hanging. Uh, I just pretty well walked off at the end of that video. Um, but we got everything, and I washed him somewhat. But now what we're going to do next is we're going to do another video on cleaning this shell up, probably, and preserving it. We're going to do some things, but we're going to get some of this cleaned out. But I just wanted to say thank you all for watching my video. I uh, appreciate it. Hit like on here. Subscribe if you hadn't already. I uh, appreciate your views. I really thank y'all. Uh, we're trying to build a channel. See if we can reach out to some people with a little bit of knowledge and how to do, if nothing else, but with entertainment as well. We don't, this is not a strictly an educational channel. We, we pretty well trying to entertain as well. Uh, but this is how, I, you know, we, this is real life that we're filming. So thank y'all for watching. Y'all have a good one.